Hey, we've got a health story for you. It's being hailed as a historic rule change, making hearing aids more accessible and cost effective. Adults will soon be able to buy hearing aids over the counter. Danya Bacchus reports what this means for those who need hearing help. Millions of Americans will soon have access to over-the-counter hearing aids. The FDA issued its ruling in August, allowing people who feel they have mild to moderate hearing loss to buy the devices without a prescription directly from stores or online. Hearing loss is very common, but that doesn't mean that it's something that's normal or that needs to be tolerated. American Academy of Audiology President Dr. Sarah Sitlowski also works at the Cleveland Clinic. She says research shows hearing loss can impact many aspects of health. It can be related to cognitive decline, to depression, to anxiety, to social isolation. It's really a sense that is so important for uh, maintaining a very positive quality of life. It's how we stay connected and sharp and happy when we're aging. Hearing loss is the third most common chronic health condition in older adults. It's estimated hearing aids could benefit about 30 million Americans. Dr. Zilowski says over-the-counter aids are an appropriate first step for some patients. People who are starting to notice that they're having a little bit of difficulty. It's not for someone who has a more significant hearing loss, who has trouble in multiple situations, who has hearing loss only in one ear or a sudden loss or ringing only in one ear. Those are all reasons that you absolutely need to see an audiologist. Consumers should be sure to check the return policy. The FDA does not require the devices are returnable, but the policy must be on the package. Donya Back is CBS News, Los Angeles. And a finer point on one of those things the Academy doctor mentioned there. They recommend seeing one of their specialists first to test your hearing and then to determine whether you're a good candidate for over-the-counter hearing aids.